Giants Editor and the Basics. Because this is what you want. Apparently. So we're going to do some tutorials. I don't know whether they're short, long. I don't know how many they're going to be. But they will be what they are. On the basics of editing maps with the Giants Editor. We won't be looking at tractors and machinery and stuff like that because that's that's not what I do. That's I I I don't get involved in that sort of stuff. I could probably manage to put a a, a bit of writing on the side, a sticker on the side, but that's about it. Um, so we're going to look primarily at maps and map editing. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get the editor itself. So to get the editor, you need to go to the Giants Developer Network and you'll need to register and get yourself an account and then once you've done that you will come in and you will be greeted with this page which is basically the, the, the startup page anyway um, it's just up here when you first come here without an account you need to fill it all out and sort it out so anyway you need to go to home then you need to go to downloads and then you'll have the editor here it is version 9.0.4 farming simulator 22 if you want the editor for 19 then it is version 8.2.2 this is the latest version 9.0.4 um, on the 8th of the 8th 23 that's when we're recording. So, once you've got that installed, and it's very simple, you just follow all the procedures, just like installing any other um, piece of software. And you set that up, get that all ready. Then, um, you'll have your startup icon. For starting it up there, it's a... Uh, yellowy gold with the backwards E, the Giants logo in it. Uh, so once you've done that, you need a map. It's all about this at the moment, isn't it? It's all about Court Farm. So you come to the Mod Hub, you download your map, because this is the easiest way to do it. You download your map. We've got it downloaded, I've got it ready to go. But you download it, click it, it will go into your download file folder, so we can get rid of all that now. And I will put all the links in the description below, so don't worry about that. Just thinking. So we go to our downloads folder. Here it is. Court Farms. And you just drag it out, put it on your desktop. Okay? First thing you want to do is you want to make a copy. there's your copy all right you want that copy because if you screw this up <laughs> you can go back to the original one so there it is sat there quite happily now what do we want to do okay so <clears throat> we want to extract two don't extract here don't extract files don't open with WinRAR click on extract two FS22 court farms Okay, once that is done, we'll drag the folder over and we'll have a look at it. Thank you very much. So that is done. So we'll pop the zipped file up there. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder and just call it court. And then we'll grab both of them both of those, drop them in there and forget about it, alright, until you screw up. Double click on it and it will open up, now it could open up depending on how you have your files set up for opening, it could open up um, in the larger icons, but mine opens up in these smaller ones let's make them large so that you can see them if you're on a phone so 
To open this map in the editor, click on Maps. And then you look down through here. Let's make this big again. Looking at these, you've got a load of folders. You've got audio, character, data, license plates, placeables, shaders, textures, XMLs, map, map i3D shapes, map i3D terrain, map, and then overview. Okay? This is what you want to open. You want to double click on this, the yellow map icon. And that is the main i3D file for it. Now, once you've double clicked on it, it will come up, and because I have other versions of the editor installed, it will ask you which one you want to use to open it. We're going to use the latest version, so that is 9.0.4. So we just double click on it. You could click OK, but I like to double click. I like clickety clicks. So it will open up. It's getting started. It's a big old map. It's got a lot going on in it. So we need to be a little bit patient every now and then. And there she is. Court Farms Country Park. And this is the map. We're in the map. All right. <laughs> this can be daunting. This can be very daunting. That bit is done. What we're going to do now is we're just going to navigate the map. I'm not going to do any editing. I'm not going to show you anything else. I'm just going to show you how to navigate around the map. Okay? And then we'll do another video for doing editing and stuff and go through everything else and try, try and break this up into nice little tidbits ish. So, instructions are the ALT button, Alt push that down then you can move around all right because if you try and move around without holding that button down all you get is a little box and it will start selecting stuff and you're gonna poop your pants so push the ALT button the alt button and then you can with your left mouse button you can move around like this with your right mouse button you can zoom out and zoom in by pushing in and out and left to right it will do it so left will zoom out right will zoom in forwards will zoom in and back will zoom out all right then your middle mouse button will kind of move you around it won't move you forward or anything, but it will move you up and down and left and right. And then, if you want to just roll in nice and steady, you can roll that mouse button in nice and steady. Okay, and roll it back out. Forwards, backwards. And all the time, you must be pressing the ALT, the ALT button. Okay? So, that's simple. Using the middle mouse button to do this, using the left mouse button to do that, middle mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button. Okay? And it's very, it takes some time to get used to because it's very alien feeling. It's very alien feeling to do if you've not done it before. So just literally don't don't screw around trying to get stuck into doing anything. If you're new to this, you need to get used to how this works. So just literally go around the map. Right mouse button. Middle mouse button. Left mouse button. Right mouse button. All the time pressing the A L T, the Alt key on your keyboard okay and that is how we navigate around all right 
I know I'm, I'm probably sounding a little bit I could be sounding a little bit patronizing but I'm just trying to make this as clear as possible and it, this is so it can be so daunting and complicated for a new a newbie a beginner all right because you come in here and you're like man I can't even move and you can't work it out because your, your initial thoughts are aswad isn't it <laughs> but it's not okay so <clears throat> you can move around like this with your right, right mouse button without pressing the alt key just to confuse matters a bit more and you can scroll in without pressing the alt button with your middle just to you know it does confuse matters <laughs> but if you stick to the golden rule of using the alt button and hold that down all the time to navigate you'll, you'll soon get the hang of it and just just seriously just go around this map or the map that you're planning on working on and just get used to it guys all right just get used to it get comfortable with doing it because it does feel weird now if you find it's moving too fast or too slow you can change it all right by pressing on your keypad you can press the plus or the minus down here in the right look you've got nav speed if you press minus um, minus will take it down clearly and plus will take it up I like to keep it at 45 that's my that's my speed it's a it's a nice speed it can be a bit quick um, for viewing for yourself but for me I just zip around that and, and crack on with it it's a it's a comfortable speed 45 so there we have it so that is Downloading Giants Editor, covered. Downloading your map, covered. Opening your map, covered. Opening your map in the editor, covered. And navigating, covered. Okay? And that is all we're getting involved in right now. That's it. That's all you've got for this episode. You're going to have to wait for the next one to find out how to do all the other bits. Because... It's easier to break it down into smaller chunks than it is to have it in one big video where you just get lost in it. Okay? So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. May the weather be with you.